Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. It is finally time to go back home, to school, back to Hogwarts. And I'm wearing my platform nine and three quarters shirt to celebrate this day. But I'm doing something else to celebrate back to school. Our friends at Diamond Art Club have sent along a very shiny, sparkly, niffler inducing diamond painting for us to do to celebrate back to Hogwarts. Now, if you're new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you're new to diamond painting, you are in for a treat. Diamond painting offers a fantastic retreat from the ordinary. It's a do-it-yourself craft or hobby that's just like paint by numbers, but instead of paint, you're using colorful resin covered rhinestones. So already you're thinking, okay, that has to look amazing once it's done, and it does. You don't need any experience to do one of these paintings or magic, so any muggles who are watching, this is a fun craft for you to do too. And you can create your own sparkling artwork. Do you wanna see what one of these paintings looks like? Now this is not the one that we're gonna do today, but I had to show you this. This is a diamond painting. Is that not beautiful or what? Check out the sparkle. So many colored rhinestones. All right, so the diamond painting that we're gonna be doing today is the Golden Trio, which I think is appropriate because it's like we're going back to Hogwarts with them. Now, going back to Hogwarts doesn't have to mean going back to Hogwarts. That can mean going back to school here in the Muggle world or going away to college or going back to college. Let's take a look at the box here. So we've got the artwork shown on the front and this is called the Gryffindor Trio and it is 38.6 inches by 25.6 inches. That is huge. It's gigantic. So everything you're gonna need is inside of this box. You don't have to go to the store, you don't have to buy anything. Everything you need is included here to complete your painting. The back of the box says, jaw-dropping artwork that you can do at home. No experience required. Have some time to yourself and leave the day's worries behind. Create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home. Makes a great gift for your friends, family, and loved ones. And I'm gonna show you guys the process and how it works, but really quickly, let's look at what this says on the box. The first step is to Peel back the film covering the pre-applied adhesive. Select a symbol that you want to work on. Identify the diamond bag matching the color code. Press the tip of the magic applicator into the wax. Use the magic applicator to pick up the faceted side of the diamond and then place it onto the corresponding symbol on the canvas. And that's it. And one of the things I love about these paintings are how relaxing they are. A diamond painting is very easy. You're gonna see how easy it is. So if you're in college, for example, it's a great thing to do if you need a break from studying, unless you're Hermione who loves to study all the time. Something like this is a great way to meet other Harry Potter fans. Or if there's a Harry Potter club at school, something like this would be very cool to bring to do together. All right, let's take a look at what is included. So we have the canvas right here, which is rolled up premium thick canvas. It's not like a cheap paper. This is like real canvas. And then inside of the rolled up canvas, we'll find all of the colorful rhinestones or diamonds. Now I already said how easy this is. I'm gonna show you how easy it is, but you're gonna be amazed once you see just how easy it is. So we've got rolls and rolls of colorful gemstones. Oh, these are the Aurora Borealis gemstones. They have a different coating on the faceted side of the rhinestone that mimics the Northern Lights and just adds like an extra pop on your diamond painting where these are located. So let's take a look at this. Now the canvas is covered in a plastic film and the first thing you want to do is not remove the plastic film. You wanna keep that on until you're finished with your painting. So don't remove the plastic film, but take a look at this canvas. There's a chart on the side and we'll talk more about this in a second, but there are symbols and numbers and the symbols and the little squares here on the painting correspond with the numbers on the bags of the rhinestones. So here's the toolkit. Again, everything that you're gonna need is included and will be found in here. So let's open this up. So inside the toolkit, you will find the applicator, the comfort grip, heart-shaped wax container, your craft tray, the tray stopper, the multi-placer, the cover minder, some washi tape, Ziploc baggies, and tweezers. 
All right, so we've got our canvas laid out, ready to go. Now again, you don't want to pull off this film. This is something that you're going to want to do over time. And in order to protect the adhesive, you're just going to use this to cover it back up. All right, so we're going to take our wax. I'm going to put the wax here and attach the comfort grip onto the applicator. So now we get to decide where we're going to start. And I think I'm going to start with this border here. This is all number one. All these kind of swirls, this outer edge border are all symbol one, which is color color code 105. So we go to our bags and number 105 are the Aurora Borealis Diamonds. I think that's a perfect way to start. So let's take one of these bags off the chain. Let's take our craft tray as well as our stopper. We're going to put the stopper in the end there. Pour some of these in here. And when you shake the craft tray back and forth, what it does is it sorts the rhinestones or diamonds so that they are faceted side or cut side up. That makes them super easy to pick them up with the applicator that you're going to dip in wax and then place onto the canvas. Look at the Niffler inducing sparkle on these things. So we're going to take our cover minder or our magnet, peel back a portion of the film. I'm going to put the magnet underneath the canvas. That's going to hold it in place. Let's get to diamond painting. I'm going to dip our applicator into the wax, pick up our very first Aurora Borealis rhinestone and place it on the first square. Ta-da, there it is. Now also included with the applicator are these multi-placers, which are super useful. You can take off the single tip and add the multi-placer onto the applicator. And now you have a way to apply multiple rhinestones at once. And just like that, I've placed eight rhinestones onto the artwork. Now Diamond Art Club sells additional applicators on their website, so if you have more than one witch or wizard doing these paintings, you can just grab as many applicators as you need and do it together. If you make an error, for example, I left a little wax on the canvas, Diamond Art Club has included some tweezers. Once this piece is done, seeing where Diamond Art Club has strategically placed the Aurora Borealis gems, this diamond art is going to come alive in a different way. When it comes to Harry Potter merchandise, this right here has to be one of the most unique Harry Potter merchandise items. And for a variety of reasons, it's just a unique and fun craft to do, but two, you're left with this beautiful piece of Harry Potter artwork that you can hang on your wall, whether it's your bedroom or your dorm room. And that's quite the way to connect with other Harry Potter fans. When they see it on your wall, they're gonna be like, oh, you're a Harry Potter fan, that's amazing. How did you do that? And then you can talk about diamond art. Diamond Art Club is not strictly Wizarding World themed. They have other fully licensed products, including Marvel and DC Comics. And in addition to licensed paintings, they have, you know, scenic paintings or paintings of animals. Definitely check out their website to see what they have to offer. There's really something for everybody. This is where we are so far. It's almost meditative. Just worry about placing little diamonds in squares. If you do diamond painting at home and you want a little extra Harry Potter, turn the audiobooks on or turn the movies on and do the painting while you watch and listen. So if you would like to try one of these paintings for yourself, I have a discount code for the Potter Collector community that I will share at the end of the video. It's so sparkly. Now when it comes to the wax and how long it lasts, I've only dipped it once and placed all of these rhinestones. So it definitely lasts a while. Now, if I had kids, I would absolutely do this with my kids. So if you have kids, this is a really fun project, a fun after-school project, or if you're a grandparent, you could do this with your grandchildren. When my niece and nephew are a little bit older, they're gonna love this. The other great thing about this is it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you're working on this for an extended period of time, put the rhinestone bags back into the center, roll it back up, and put it to the side until you're ready to work on it again. All right, I'm gonna place a few few more rows of the Aurora Borealis gems and then move on to a different color. This is what we have so far. Now you may be thinking, Peter, how do we put away these little teeny tiny rhinestones or diamonds? Diamond Art Club has thought about that and included little baggies, but not just little baggies. 
little stickers that correspond to the diamonds or rhinestones that you're working with. So we're gonna take the symbol one or color code 105 sticker, place it on the baggie, pour the remaining rhinestones in that bag, as well as the ones that are in the craft tray. Seal it shut, and they're ready to go for next time. All right, so let's figure out what color we want to do next. Let's just go down the line and go to symbol number two, color code 154, and color code 154 are these little dark squares. And this will be fun because it's individual squares that we're gonna be placing. And since they're individual pieces, we're gonna put the individual diamond applicator head back on. I just thought of something else. You know how if you go on vacation or you're going to a family reunion or something, sometimes you bring along puzzles to do throughout your trip or your stay. Bring a diamond painting with a few extra applicators and do that with your family or friends. I'm actually gonna do that. If you have done diamond art paintings in the past, leave a comment down below. Let me know what some of your favorites are, but also where you like to do them, who you like to do them with, whether it's just yourself, a kind of just relaxing meditative time for you, or if it's like during a family reunion or something. I had quite the surprise from a Potter Collector community member recently. Sylvia, I'm talking about you. Sylvia did the Deathly Hollows part two poster in diamond art. Holy cow, is that thing beautiful? Not only holy cow, is that thing beautiful, Sylvia did it for me. I have it in the Potter Collector Library and I'll show you guys at the end of this video, but that poster is amazing and it's really special to own, especially knowing how much time these take. So Sylvia, once again, thank you for doing that for me. Another thing I love about this is that Diamond Art Club used symbols to correspond with different colors. If you're like me and you're color deficient or you have some form of color blindness, matching the different diamonds or rhinestones to the symbols makes it a lot easier versus matching color to color. Now you may also be thinking, Peter, once we're done with the painting, what if I accidentally bump into it and little diamonds fly everywhere and I lose some? Well, Diamond Art Club has a lifetime warranty on all of their paintings and free insurance when it comes to lost or spilled diamonds. So don't fret. This is what we've done. I love the Aurora Borealis diamonds. And all of these swirls, these are gonna be the same. Now for the sake of time, I do need to create some magic and finish this beautiful piece to show you guys. Look at this piece. So incredibly cool. And wait until I give you a close up that just shows all of the little teeny tiny individual diamonds or rhinestones. Look at that and look at that sparkle. We have a lion crest there. And the golden trio. Hermione, Harry, and Ron. This would certainly make any Niffler happy. What a fun way to celebrate back to Hogwarts than with something like this. Now at the beginning of the video, I showed you the Diamond Painting Sorcerer's Stone movie poster. This is the Deathly Hollows poster done by Sylvia. Absolutely incredible. It's so incredible. Once again, Diamond Art Club doesn't just have Wizarding World themed diamond paintings. They have animals, landscapes, fantasy, DC, Marvel, and so much more. Definitely browse through their website to see all of the different paintings that you can do, as well as the different accessories that they sell. Again, if you wanted to do this with multiple people, this really would be a great thing to do with like a Harry Potter club, or again, with like family or friends on a trip or a reunion of some kind. 
It's so much fun. Now I mentioned a coupon code earlier if you would like to try this for yourself. A big thank you to Diamond Art Club for offering this coupon code, which is gonna save you not 10%, not 15%, but 20% off of your first order. That's a big money saving right there. Check the description down below for a link and you can use coupon code POTTER20 at checkout to save 20% off of your order. And with the holiday season coming up, take advantage of that 20% off coupon code and purchase a gift for that Harry Potter fan in your life. Once again, the code is POTTER20 to save 20% off. A big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this for me to show you guys. Again, this was a great way to celebrate back to Hogwarts. And to you watching, I will see you at the start of term feast. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord link is down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Well, where'd he go?